let's take a look at the best features of the 2019 Mac Pro. Welcome everyone, it's Andrew here from Apple Insider with our brand new Mac Pro once more. This time we're going to focus on the best features of this new and powerful machine. Starting off with the 8 PCIe slots that are contained within. It has been some time since we've seen a Mac with 8 PCIe slots there. There is a ridiculous amount of expandability with this Mac Pro. Four of those slots can be used for two MPX modules, and one of them is a half width slot that's used for Apple's default I.O. card there at the top. Everyone likely knows, but if you don't, PCIe slots are great for expandability, adding in graphics cards, extra I.O., storage, pretty much anything you need for this machine. Next up is that top handle. Apple has made it dead easy to access the inside of the Mac Pro. They didn't need to do this, they could have put thumb screws on the back or found some other way of accessing the inside, removable side panel, but there is nothing easier than just turning a handle and sliding the top of this thing right off. You're not going to do this necessarily all the time. You may do it early on as you set up your machine for the first time. You may do it down the line when you add more options to it, make it a little bit more powerful uh, as it ages on, or maybe you just need something repaired and that repair shop is going to love the easy access to get inside. The downside is you do have to remove your accessories before removing the case, but it's not a huge deal and you can't use this thing while the case is off anyway. Our number three favorite feature is the top I.O. Now Apple could have put in the ports down lower on the bottom like we see a lot of machines. They could put up everything around back, but in this case they put two ports right on the top of the Mac Pro for easy access. Whether this is under your desk, on top of your desk, it's very easy to get to these two ports. Now not only are they just some generic USB ports, there are actually two Thunderbolt 3 ports here, type C. So you can plug in pretty much anything you need to into those guys. Next is the internal USB port. That's right, an internal USB port. This is used for licensing dongles mostly. That way you can put it on the inside of your machine, close the case, and then have the case locked, and that way your licensing dongle can't just walk off on you. For number five, we are giving Apple mad props for the modular design. This is huge, not only for expandability, but repairability as well. Say something goes down, it's really easy to get in there and find the part that you're looking for and swap it out. Whether it's a whole fan on the fan module, whether it's a piece of RAM, anything can be really easily accessed. Even a lot of things are numbered and very clearly labeled so that you know what order to take things apart and break things down. And nothing really requires some weird screws or a screwdriver, they're pretty standard tools along the way. Before we get to the second half of our list of top features, we gotta talk about our sponsor for this video, Xdoria. Xdoria makes some great mobile accessories. Here is their Defense Duo stand. It's made out of metal, a machined aluminum. It looks really great and sleek, can charge up to 10 watts, can charge two devices at once, including something like an AirPods on the smaller one, and your phone can be placed horizontally for watching videos at the same time. It includes everything you need in the box, no need for additional chargers or cables. Next up, we also have their Defense Shield. If you saw this case in our case roundup, you understand why we like it. It has really nicely done machined aluminum around the outside. This one's silver, but there are many other colors and they have that clear back, so it really allows you to see your logo on your phone and the color of your phone pop through. If you'd like either of these or anything else from Xdoria, you can get them at the link down below in the description and save with our exclusive coupon. Moving on to number six, which is the near silent design. In a lot of configurations, this thing runs entirely silent. We put our ears up to the case and we could hear the fans kicking in, but they didn't sound bad and we barely even noticed them. There are a lot of applications where a quiet machine like this is really going to pay off. Apple killed it with that thermal design. We can't promise you're always going to have quiet performance, especially if you out this thing with a lot of graphics power. And that's our other feature here, the ability to use almost any recent AMD graphics card. You can put up to four GPUs in this machine and including almost any recent AMD card, which is going to be huge for pros who really want to choose the best card that is right for them. Number eight is the optional wheels that can be outfitted on the bottom. Now the Mac Pro comes with the default stainless steel, just legs, feet, whatever you want to call them. They have silicone covers on the bottom, they're stainless steel, glossy, they look really nice, but occasionally you're going to need to move your stuff around, whether you're taking this thing actually out in the field to work or just trying to move around the different bays in the editing suite. So what do you do in that situation? Well, you can out this, outfit this thing with stainless steel frame and wheels. These are Apple designed wheels, they are a bit expensive at $400, but it does allow you to easily move this thing around. A lot of machines don't have wheels on there, and it's a simple thing that can be really handy. And of course, because they're Apple designed, they look pretty darn great. 
In the box, Apple includes the Magic Keyboard and then either trackpad, mouse, or both of those. But another accessory tucked in the box is a USB-C to lightning cable. But not just any USB-C lightning cable, this is a one of a kind from Apple. It's actually a little bit thicker and stronger than their standard cables, it's got longer necks down the side, it comes in black, and it's nylon braided for extended durability. It's a really nice cable, and we've already had a lot of people asking if Apple sells this on its own. And unfortunately, they don't. So if you want one of these, you're gonna have to buy the new machine. Not only is Apple just being nice here and you need it for your phone or whatever, but it's also useful to charge the actual accessories included, like the mouse, the magic keyboard, or the magic trackpad. Finally, rounding out our list, our 10th top feature, favorite feature of the 2019 Mac Pro is Apple's Afterburner card. Afterburner is a hardware accelerated card that can be added into those PCI slots on the inside of the Mac Pro, and it'll allow you just melt through any Apple codec. When installed, this machine can handle up to six streams of 8K ProRes RAW or 23 streams of 4K ProRes RAW footage. Video pros already are going to love this, and you can add it onto your Mac Pro for an extra two grand when you're checking out. So that does it, that is it, that is the new Mac Pro. Those are our top features, favorite features of this new machine. Of course, there's a whole lot more to this guy. So stay tuned to Apple Insider for further coverage. And if you guys wanna talk about it, reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And make sure you check out our sponsor down below at the link in the description and save some money. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.